Welcome back to another video. And this is going to be another topic. Uh, four reasons why I don't like Arnold's Mr. Freeze. Now, someone, I know somebody's going to ask, you know, why don't I review Batman and Robin? Uh, but to be honest, I want to wait uh, to review the Batman films. Uh, you know, then when I get to Batman and Robin, I could talk more about the film, go more in depth and what have you. Uh, so for now, you know, I'm just doing this topic, uh, and I can only think of four reasons. I mean, the film overall has more issues, but, you know, I'll just talk about Arnold's performance here. Uh, again, I can only think of four. Uh, so let's get into four reasons why I don't like Arnold's Mr. Freeze. Now, before I get into the reasons here, I know there's some people out there that may like the film or, you know, can still watch the movie as... Either it's so bad it's good or it can't be fun. And that's fine. I mean, if you like the film, that's fine. I'm not going to make fun of you. I'm not going to, you know, hound you for that. Um, so I just want to make that known. Uh, yes, I did have this film on tape back in the day. And I've seen it quite a few times. Uh, but, you know, now as an adult, I, for me, it's just not a good movie. But get into the reasons here. Uh, reason number four. Arnold is miscast. You know, Arnold is, you know, gr a great actor, you know, action star, what have you. Um, but, you know, for me, I don't think he worked. Uh, which I know there were some other names that were considered at that time, you know, like Patrick Stewart. You know, why not Patrick Stewart? I think he would have done better uh, if he was casted. Um, and I've heard before, you know, that Arnold, you know, could have worked if they didn't give him all these, you know, ice puns and, you know, terrible direction and what have you. Uh, but I would have felt like Patrick Stewart, you know, for me, you know, if you're going to go that route of having Mr. Freeze as a villain, you know, for this movie, yeah, Patrick Stewart makes more sense. And I know another name that was mentioned or that was considered was Ed Harris. I'm like, okay, you know, maybe I like Ed Harris. You know, he can play villain types, you know, uh, look at the rock, you know, he's great in that. And I know like, which is weird. Like Hulk Hogan was a choice. Like the director Joe Schumacher mentioned that at one point that his third choice was Hulk Hogan. I can't see that. I mean, you know, I like Suburban Commando, but I cannot see Hulk Hogan as Mr. Freeze. Time to chill, brother. You know, what is Mr. Freeze going to do? Leg drop Batman? Give him three punches? You know, the big boot and the leg drop? Brother? You know, now I just see that you know, you try to picture Hulk Hogan in your mind as Mr. Freeze. Just end every ice pun with brother. You know, my condition has left me cold to your pleas of mercy, brother. <laughs> You're not sending me to the cooler, brother. <laughs> I don't know why, but yeah, I'm just having fun here. I'm being a goof. But, you know, in all seriousness, you know, for me, you know, Arnold was just miscast. I don't think he was the right guy. Again, you know, if you're going to go in that direction of, you know, okay, you're going to have Mr. Freeze, fine. You know, why not get somebody that looks like that character? You know, Patrick Stewart, I think would have been better. You know, Ed Harris, perhaps, you know, Ed Harris, maybe Ben Kingsley. I know someone's mentioned him before. So for that is reason number four. Reason number three, the nonstop ice puns. <laughs> There's actually... I had to look up a, a count. There's 27 puns and references to ice in this movie. You know, very nice. And my condition has left me cold to you. Please have mercy. Art, everyone, chill. <laughs> You're not sending me to the cooler. It's like we get it. We get all the ice puns. You know, why is there so many ice puns in this movie? And I know some people like, you know, it goes back to what I was saying before. 
if people like the film, that's fine. You know, like if they say, you know, it's campy fun, it's a campy romp or whatever, you know, they can enjoy it in that kind of style, you know, kind of like the Batman in the sixties, which I love the Adam West show. Um, so if people, I mean, but for me, I'd rather watch that. You know, if I want campy fun, I'll watch the Batman series with Adam West and Burt Ward. But here, you know, the nonstop ice puns really, and for me now, especially, uh, just, I can't stand it. Um, you know, if people enjoy the ice puns, it's fine. But, you know, why is there so many references to ice? And again, there's 20, 27 of them, 27 puns about ice in this movie. But, you know, for me, for me, that's reason number three. Reason number two, it's embarrassing. Arnold's performance is embarrassing. You know, you got a lot of embarrassing scenes, you know, where he's singing Mr. White, you know, Mr. White Christmas. You know, like he's, you know, doing that with uh, some of his goons in the that scene. You know, that's embarrassing. And, uh, yeah, I mean, Arnold, uh, I would say, you know, this is Arnold's most embarrassing, you know, maybe you could argue, you know, Hercules in New York. You know, that film is embarrassing. I don't know, which is more embarrassing? Is it Hercules in New York or is it this movie? And this is pretty close, uh, but you know, for me, Arnold, I love Arnold to death, but to me, in this film here, he's embarrassing, performance-wise. And again, you can point out, you know, you can point out all these scenes, you know, throughout the movie, you know, from singing Mr. White Christmas, I'm Mr. Snow, and and all the ice puns, and his layer. You know, like the layer of Mr. Freeze was silly. It, again, you know, there's so many things here I could talk about with this movie. I want to save that for uh, a review down the road. But again, for me, number two, reason number two, Arnold is embarrassing. Uh, and that kind of leads to the number one reason. You know, for me, the direction. I love Joe Schumacher. Rest in peace, Joe Schumacher. You know, for me, like, I would say he's one of my favorite directors. You know, whether that be The Lost Boys, Fallen Down, you know, uh, A Time to Kill. Uh, I mean, 8mm, he directed that. Flatliners is solid. You know, so I am a fan of Joe Schumacher. I know a lot of people blame Joe Schumacher you know, they blamed him for many years, you know, with this movie. And, but, you know, Joe Schumacher, and I know he took the blame too. You know, he's apologized for the movie. But I have to, you know, I have to blame him some because, you know, as much as I love his other films that I mentioned, uh... But his direction here, you know, with his character of Mr. Freeze, I don't understand it. I know that we're basically making a two-hour toy commercial. You know, that's what was said, you know, during the making of the film with this megaphone. You know, don't forget, we're making a toy commercial here. I know that's been said and, made, you know, been stated before. But it's just the direction, you know, Arnold's given here. Again, it's just not good. You know, got him, that goes back to, you know, Arnold being embarrassing here. Which, again, I know Arnold was paid a lot of money. But, you know, the direction here is terrible. You know, I love Schumacher. You know, again, for many years, he took the blame here. Uh, but yeah, direction, the direction here is not good. You know, he's directed some great movies, uh, but, you know, for what, 
if it would be one thing, you know, it'd be one thing if Arnold played it, you know, more serious. You know, what if Schumacher said, you know, just play it more serious? You know, maybe it would have been a little bit better and not just act all silly, you know, not throw out 30 ice puns. You know, I just, so that's my number one reason. Uh, but that's it. I mean, that's all I could think of when it comes to, you know, the character of Mr. Freeze here. Again, reason number four, miscast. Reason number three, the nonstop ice puns. Reason number two, Arnold's embarrassing. And reason number one, direction. So that's all I can think about for this topic here, uh, for this for this video. Um, again, I want to save you know my review for Batman and Robin down the road. You know when I review the Batman films. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed this little video. And uh, again, it's not a long one, but you know I figured I got to talk about Batman and Robin. You know, do whether that be a topic or you know what have you. Because again, I want to save the review for, you know, down the road, but, you know, thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. And uh, up next for the Arnoldthon, I'll be revealing and talking about End of Days, uh, which is a great movie. But thank you for watching and have a good day.